Now today I took this off. It looks like it might cut the wire. Uh, it's good for temporary. Just want to hurry up and get an antenna up. An emergency or something. Today I got a dog bone. My dog bone come in the mail today. I'll show you how this works. We'll pull it up a little bit higher. Okay, now we got the dog bone on. I got two marks on here. Uh, one was for a different antenna. I guess uh, well, the short end of the J pole is uh, only, uh, let's see, the long end is three quarters of it longer. So here's the one I'm going to use. It's, I mean, now this one, it's a longer one. So I'm going to pull it up here. I'll mark both of them. In case I wanted to try the other link, I still may. I haven't ever done the SWR. Okay. Put this baby on here. Alright, I'm going to stop the camera, so I don't go, go too long. Well, I've been shortening this antenna. And the way some people do it is they move, they move the wire through the dog bone to make it shorter and then wrap it back on itself. It's not working for me. So, I cut a little bit off this end here. That seemed to have worked. So, I'm going to cut some more off. This may be too much. I hope not. I bet it helps a lot. I got a big improvement a while ago when I did that. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to move that to be longer. It seems like that it knows that that wire is there and it don't like it. Yeah. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to just tie it back up. Uh, moving the green part of the antenna, the top part, wasn't working, so shortening I'm going to move this. Uh, this one part is the... The ground is behind this. It was not... So when I get that unsoldered, I'm going to move it this way, about a half an inch, because it was way off. Well, I'm, I'm moving it up. I am soldered it up higher, trying to make it shorter. And then I taped it already and soldered it, so. There it is. got to tape the other side, and then I'm going to try it. Okay, after shortening this, I lost skip. Look at the how much pounds it's got. Two and a half pounds of skip. It'll get better in the middle of the night. And when I key up, I finally got it to the acceptable level. It was over in the red cup before. On channel one, I at least got it one to three or less. Finally, I could talk with them. That wouldn't be getting very much power. I'm trying to 
this off so you guys can hear better. It says that uh, a one to three ratio, you lose 25% uh, power. Well, we don't want to lose any. So, I've been shortening the top of it. I've, I've had to shorten it a lot. And I was uh, pretty apprehensive about doing that because what the plan said that, you know, it's supposed to be 17 feet, 10 inches. And I've taken off, oh, 24 inches probably. All right. Let's go take a look at that. Gosh, I don't know if you guys can even see this anymore. There's the antenna. We'll pull it down and shorten it some more. Here it comes. I'm gonna get her down. It's it's getting a lot shorter. When I get down, I'll come back. See how many wraps that I've done on that? A lot. Now I've shortened that. I'm probably a good three feet. Well, I'm going to shorten it another six inches and see what that does. Okay, I've shortened the antenna about six inches. Let's see what that's going to do. It's worse. What the hell? I guess I went too far or something. I don't know. It's better on channel 23. Looks like I'm gonna have to unsolder it at the bottom. I'm just barely safe on channel 23. Channel 6. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Yes, disassembling for about the third time. Once, twice, three times is a charm. <clears throat> Putting this black tape in between these leads is a pain in the butt, but if he didn't do it, it would surely short, and I'd bet you both CB. If he went on the wind blue or something like that, and I, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm trying to get that black tape off. I'll be back. Alright, I got the black tape off. I'm going to shorten this antenna by moving this up. This down here doesn't mean a lot. This is the ground plane, this the short side. This is the center. Oh wait a minute. Actually it's opposite of what I said. This is the center, this is the antenna. This is the ground plane. But anyway, I'm moving it forward, it shortens the antenna. I couldn't shorten it up at the dock anymore. But I did get it within range, at least I was on the three mark. I'm gonna move it forward. Uh up to about here, which is better than a quarter of an inch, probably half an inch, three sixteenths, I don't know. I won't bore you with the details. So. around the 1.2 area. Well, that's better. I'd, I'd like to see 1.1. Looks like I might have to take it down and restart again, but I'll try to show it from the top. Let's see what that does. Okay. I'll come back up and show it from the top. Okay, after many tries, on channel one, 
any reflective frequency at all. One to one. So that's almost 100% transmission. And then on channel 23, we ended up with a little more than 1.5. That's not too bad. Better than four watts. Four and a half, maybe. Okay. That's what you want to look like. I'm ready for a hundred watt linear now. Thanks for watching. The only thing that's weird is I don't hear anybody talking. I'm going to ring the radio or what. Maybe tomorrow. It's one o'clock in the morning. Usually you hear skip. I don't hear no skip tonight. Maybe this thing ain't receiving anymore. Maybe it broke. 